Maya, you and I, we're family. Hello, human. Click that subscribe button. Echo. I watched all five episodes back to back. The show is not bad, but it's not good either. I feel like it's middle of the road, mediocre. There are some cool scenes in this show, a few of which involve Maya, but Kingpin is really the highlight of this show. Daredevil has one scene, and his scene is cool. I watched this show for Kingpin in the comics. Echo is the one that took his eyesight in both eyes, but in the context of the MCU, she took out one of his eyes. Vincent D'Onofrio continues to prove himself a good actor and a perfect fit for the Kingpin character. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly as day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this show a 7 out of 10. It's very average, barely passable, completely unnecessary. Not every Marvel character needs their own show or movie, and this show is a perfect example as to why. For those of you that are watching for Daredevil, you will be disappointed because he only has one scene. It is cool, but that's it. For those of you who are watching this show for Kingpin, I believe that you'll be satisfied with his scenes. The finale for this show was underwhelming. It was weak. It was rushed. Pretty much what you come to expect from Marvel Disney Plus material. They tend to disappoint. They tend to be a waste of potential. So how is the action in this show? The fight scenes. The fight scenes are fine. Nothing impressive. Uh, really the fight with Maya and Daredevil is the coolest fight that you'll see in this show. Other than that you have Maya beating up uh, bad guys and it's fine. It's not Black Widow spectacular. It's just okay. I've met a few badass women in my life, trained with them in martial arts, but none of them are as tough or as badass as Maya. And why would they be? They, they were not trained by the kingpin. And Maya as a character, she's okay. The actors and actresses in this show are, are fine. Vincent D'Onofrio is by far the best actor in this show. And uh, the connections between Maya, uh, you know, Echo and Kingpin are pulled right from the comics. They tweaked certain elements, but uh, a lot of the Native American aspects that come with the character, they do touch upon in this show quite extensively. But... A lot of this show was just very boring, and I was always waiting for them to get to some kind of fight scene or get back to the kingpin. I believe that the Maya character, the Echo character, is not strong enough to carry her own movie or her own show, which is why in the context of this you have five episodes, something very short. The episodes are not that long. You can get through them very quickly because there's not a whole lot of weight to the material it's like they try to be complicated they try to be complex but it just comes across as very boring if we ever see this echo character again it should only be for some sort of fight scene you will get some backstory to help you understand the echo character better but i found it odd that a large portion of the first episode was merely a recap for humans that did not watch Hawkeye. But if you like the Echo character, then maybe you will find this show to be fascinating. But I think they could have come up with something more entertaining than what we got. So as far as I'm concerned, outside of the Kingpin scene, uh, scenes and the Daredevil scene, this show was a waste of my time. Terrence out.